Greetings YouTubers! Today I am going to show you how to use Newton's method to find roots. Newton's method or Newton Raphson method is a method for the for finding the roots well not exactly the roots but uh for calculating equations and much better without say a computer has a course and of course, the uh, equation is generally named after Sir Isaac Newton. This method is really a recurring uh, function, such that we take the function initially, and we take and we divide it over its derivative, which I'll show in a little bit, and we take an initial guess, and well, subsequent recurring answers and we find a solution for an equation. Of course the derivative cannot be zero. Newton's method is convergent so we can take the difference of our initial guess and produce answers. The closer the difference is to zero the better. Thus a good way to indicate that is by taking the difference of our initial guess and the uh, generated answer. We do this at least several times depending on the equation. The number of places which, in which we want to be close enough to zero is called precision. It should be noted that Newton's method may not be the best method for er, all equations. Uh, generally if uh, the numbers start to look a little bit weird. Uh, after that you can start using like, uh, was it falsetto regularis and uh, was it secret method? A couple other methods as well. But for uh, today's uh, video, uh, Newton's is good enough for our purpose and is also good enough for another video that will be coming shortly on how to divide without using the divide operator. This is important for all those computer science majors out there. Uh, let's see here. In order to find the nth root of a, we must first convert the equation into a uh, root format. Thus, uh, we take all the stuff from this side and we put on the other side with x, such that it equals 0. From there, we can use that as f of x. We then uh, use this information to generate our derivative. I've decided to break it down into smaller parts for those not for those not familiar with all the calculus methods all the time. So uh, let's see here. We take our first part and we apply the power rule to it, which is this equation. Uh, and then we take the second half and we apply the constant rule. Uh, since you can pretty much add these two derivatives together. We come up with this. And finally, our derivative of f of x is n times x uh, to the nth minus 1 power. Using our, our equation and the derivative, we can generate our, uh, our algorithmic step that we can use to find the nth root of an algorithm, well, the nth root of uh, a number. Thus, to find the nth root of a, the nth root of a, we use this equation right here, such that a is greater than zero, because, well, if it is zero, then the entire answer is zero, and if it's less than zero, it's imaginary, which we can't use unless you flip the, uh, was it, the sign on it. Uh, n cannot be zero because there is no, was it, zeroth root of a number, and your initial guess cannot be zero because you didn't out with a divide by zero error. More generally, if we wanted to use this equation to find the square root, or n equals 2, we would simply use um, 
a smaller version of this equation right here. So, what if we want to use the simple uh, equation to find the nth root of 2, or actually the square root of 2? We would plug uh, our values in to which is our a value, and we would use the uh, general equation to apply uh, our answer. So, as our first guess, let's say uh, x of 0 is 1. To find x of 1, we would apply uh, our numbers, and we'd end up with uh, 0.5 as the next answer. The difference of these two numbers is 0.5. We would then plug in our x of 1 and create uh, our next answer, 1.416 repeating, and difference of uh, minus 0.083 repeating. Uh, if the math gets a little bit complicated, you could try using a scientific calculator or you could plug this all into a uh, spreadsheet program like Excel or uh, what is it open office and uh, LibreOffice and even Google Docs so our next answer looks close to zero looks close to the square root but it's not it generates a difference of this when it starts looking a little bit exponential we could probably except that the next answer is good enough for us, which, oddly enough, it does look similarly close to the square root of 2. And thus, we end up with our answer of 1.414213562424. In summary, uh, we have Newton's equate, we have Newton's method, the nth root uh, algorithm step and we also have the square root algorithm step for the more general equation. I hope to generate uh, to create another video uh, explaining uh, the division in the near future. For now, this is Jason Charney signing off. Goodbye!